Say hello to everybody. Say hello. No, turn around. Don't say hello to people. Come on, be nice. There you go. Hello. Lou. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Something completely different today. Just completely new. Not done this before. I saw this actually on Stu's um, YouTube channel. So big shout out to Stu. I did message him and just say, is he okay with me doing this? Because I kind of stole his idea. So cheers, Stu. I'll leave um, a link to Stu's YouTube channel down below. And guys, please go check him out. The cat is scratching the chair. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'd just like to say, uh, first and foremost, um, well done to the giveaway winners. Thank you for everybody who, who has entered that um, in the last few videos leading up to Christmas. Um, in the last video, I did announce the giveaway winners. If you haven't checked that out, go onto my Instagram or onto my Facebook and the winners are announced on there. Um, and also, I just want to say this video is in no way uh, sponsored at all. Um, we've got a package here from uh, the Total Fish and Tackle. But yeah, it's not sponsored. I paid for this 100% myself. Um, we don't know what we're going to get. But basically, it's a lucky box. It's an absolute... It, you just basically pay... Um, a set amount of money. This is the £100 version. They've got a £50 version. I think they've got a £25 version. But you can go online and they'll just send you 100 quid's worth of stuff. Or they, I think they guarantee you a, a certain amount. I think it's a little bit more than that. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. Try not to cut the cat on the head. Um, so yeah, total fish and tackle. What will you catch? Let's find out what we're going to catch. To be honest, guys, I'm still a complete noob, so I'm probably going to have some stuff in here that I don't know what it is or what it does. But let's get into it. Okay, so, oh, I can already see I've got an item of clothing. I don't know exactly what it is. I want to get it out. I want to do it first. I want to get it out. Oh, It's Navitas High Performance Boot Socks 2-Pack. And you know what? I'm not just saying this. I actually need them. Please be in my size. What size are they? I mean, UK 7 to 11. I mean, that's pretty general. Most people are between 7 and 11, right? But there we go. First item, um, some thermal socks. I'm super, super happy with that. Lovely. Needed that very much. We've got some packaging. Um, next up, we have got, oh my gosh, a massive spool of Ridge Monkey RM Tech Fast Sinking Superior Casting Low Stretch green 0.38 mil 15 pound and i've got 1200 meters of that and it's a sinking monofilament mainline which casts superbly and offers low stretch high abrasion resistance and low memory well there we go because i tell you what i was going to upgrade my line um, on my reels and now i can do it that's awesome um, RM Tech Monofilament is the perfect all-rounder for almost any fishing situation from an underarm cast to extreme distances. Available in clear, brown and green in £12, £15 and £18 break and strain. Well, I've got the, I mean, I've got the one, probably the best one. It's uh, green and it's £15. I mean, that's not bad. I might have gone for the clear out of choice, but green's still pretty good. I'll probably use that, so that's happy days. All right, moving on. We have got... Oh, I was going to upgrade mine, is it? Oh, it's not. I wanted to get an Aqua net float. I don't know why, I just think it looked really smart. Um, I've currently got an ESP one, which I love. It's very nice, but I just wanted to get an Aqua one. I just think it looks so much better. And I'll tell you what, this is a Colt one. And, I mean, from a distance there, guys, it doesn't look too dissimilar. It's camo, which the Aqua one is. Um, and the Aqua's got blue in its logo. And so is this. So there we go. That's another item I'm probably going to use. Happy days. Okay, moving on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. We have got... This is the... Oh, it's a new Fox Spod. Um, it's the large... It's, well, I don't know if it's new. Well, it's new to me. But um, yeah, it's a large impact spod from Fox. That's brilliant because um, I've been having trouble... Spom, if you're listening, I'm not... I love your products. Trust me, I do love your products. But it... My Spoms... I've got a black one and half the time it doesn't open. Half the time it does open when I don't want it to open. That's probably my fault. There's probably pellets stuck in it. But a lot of the time I've cast out onto my spot and it's just not open. So it's going to be interesting to give this a go and see how it goes. Um, don't get me wrong. I still love Spom and I'm still going to use my Spoms. 
but I'm definitely giving this a go. And it's green, one of my favorite colors. Okay, so moving on from that, we have, I can already see like into the box what there is. We've got some Kamakura hooks and they're size four. We've got some wide gate barbless and some crank barbless. Do you know what? I'm very, very happy with them. And I'm gonna tell you for why. I was gonna change my hook pattern to size four. So I've been using size sixes last year, but I might up it to size fours. Um, and they're both barbless. Now, if anybody of you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know my favorite hook pattern is barbless. I know, let, again, let's not go into the debate because I've, I've mentioned this before. Let's not go into the debate about which is better, bar barbless, whatever. Yes, you're probably more likely to lose a fish on barbless, but I think personally that, well, again, let's not go into the, into the debate. But yes, I out of preference, I like to use barbless, um, size four wide gapes and cranks. So Kamakura from Corda, lovely. Moving on then, I've got some um, PB products. I know it's not Parker Bates. Most Wanted, Tungsten, Loaded Leader. Oh, there we go, happy days. Uh, in weed green, and they've got 100 centimeters of it. So there you go, some Tungsten Leader. Okay, what have we got here? We've got three of these. They are JRC Curve Slim Indicators. Now I guess, again, sorry for being a noob, but I'm guessing they're bobbins. Yeah, they are, they're bobbins, but they're on arms. I don't use arms at the moment. I just use the slap heads. I've got, um, I've got Nash slap heads that I just literally put on the, um, on the bite alarm or where you, where you screw the bite alarm onto the pod um, or, or the buzz bars. And then I've got it just, I've got like a three inch chain and it goes straight onto the line. But I have seen people use bars. Um, I know that some people do favor bars. I've never used them personally. So I could give these a go and they've got all different colors you can choose. Um, green, yellow, red, purple, and blue. I mean, I don't know if I'll use them or not. I might give them a go. I might give them away. Let me know if you guys are interested in these. Okay, and getting down to the last sort of few pieces, we have got some, I've got a FXT cargo net. What's this for? I've got a cargo net. Stretches out to approximately 2000 millimeters by 2000 millimeters. Great solution for keeping heavy items secure. So I guess you could put that up in your bivvy or in your swim. Just, I guess for putting things on, right? I don't know, there we go. <laughs> That's to get the cargo net. Okay, now, oh, oh! Right, before I get onto this, I don't need one and I don't need to upgrade to it, but I'm interested to see it. Before, I'm gonna save that till last because I think that is the one that I'm most excited for. Don't want you guys to see it. Don't want to give it away. Oh. This is awesome. Right, okay. I've got three items left. I'm saving that one till last, but this is awesome. We've got a quarter compact cool pack, extra large. And that is needed because in my cool pack, which cool pack have I got? I've got a Sonic one, I think. Um, and it didn't come with any cool packs. So I had to buy separate cool packs, but they keep slipping out of the elasticated binders that they're meant to hold in. This one, look at the pictures here. You can just freeze it, slip it in the bottom of your bag, and then bosh, you're away. So happy days. Thank you very much. This has been successful so far. Two things left. I've got another cult, uh, what is this? This is a goo case. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna open that now actually, because I could do with, I really need to get a bait, like a bait, um, Fox do like this bait zip up thing. I don't know, where you can put all your, up the bait, bait in. So um, it's very much like this, but this is only one. I don't know, you could probably get, you could probably get two or three tubs in there. Or you could just, if you're stalking, you could probably hook that onto your, your waistband and put a few pellets in there or boilies or anything. I mean, that comes in handy for anything. It's just a little pouch, really. I mean, you could definitely get some Parker Bates tubs of boilies in there, which would be very helpful because when it comes to bait, I just have to dig through my bag the whole time. I've got my tackle box, my everything. You know what it's like when you go fishing. I open up my bag and everything's everywhere. And I've, 
I like to try and keep certain compartments for certain bits, but my bait just kind of gets thrown in. So I'm pulling everything out to try and find my bait. But now, with something like this, I know if I want any hook baits, I can probably put three tubs of hook baits in there. Happy days. But like I say, Fox do do one, and that's what I want. So this is the last item. This is the one that I'm most interested in. Well, I'm saying that, I think I've done really well. I have got, remember this was a hundred pound box. Um, I ended up getting, well, I'll go through everything at the end if you missed anything, but here we go. So we've got, it's a Whitewood. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I don't use any Whitewood stuff. So um, I know they're a cart fishing brand or a fishing brand, but yeah, I haven't actually used any of their stuff yet. But this is Bosch. I've got a quarter one, but this is a Whitewood, Whitewood medium tackle box. Uh, a complete medium tackle box. So let's open this up and see if it's any good. I mean, guys, I think I've done pretty well here, really, haven't I? I mean, yeah, 100 quid's 100 quid, but I've got some stuff here that I never knew I needed, um, such as new line. I was going to go out and buy some new line. Don't need to do that now. Got my socks. Again, was going to go and get some socks. Don't need to do that now. I can try out the new spot, um, which is good. A tackle box, which I might change to. I mean, I do like my corner ones, so it would have to impress me quite a lot to change it but here we go right let's go into that box we don't need it anymore shout out to the tackle uh the tackle let me get that right total fish and tackle shout out to total fish and tackle. next time you can sponsor me in this and send me a send me a box on the house would be nice wouldn't it we've all got dreams but here we go so the watchwood tackle box um let's get into it if i can somehow See, already, already, I'm just going to say that. I've not even opened it yet. Sorry about my fat, by the way. Um, I'm working on that. But yeah, already, the way it opens, I'm going to say it, I prefer the quarter one. But let's get into it. I mean, it's a bit, it feels a bit plasticky and a bit... No, 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 no problems with Whitewood. I've never used their gear. But, I mean, they've got some handy little tubs in here for, I mean, you could put anything in there, couldn't you? Beads or... Um, well, anything. I mean, it, <laughs> hooks. You know what it's like. A tackle box. You've got all sorts of stuff in there. But yeah, you can put like bait stops in there, boilie stops and all sorts of stuff. So you get four small like inner tackle boxes, if you like. There you go. And then you get your main tackle box. It's got the compartment separators as well. So you can change the, you know what it's like, the layout, the design of your tackle box. But there we go. I mean, it's a quite simple, basic tackle box. Like I say, is it better than my quarter one? Probably not. Um, but yeah, it's got a little measurement thing on the front there. So you can, when you're doing your rigs, you can see how long you tie your lead, your, your rigs and stuff and your booms and your, see how long your leaders are and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty much, without having actually used it, it seems to be, it seems to me like it's a pretty average standard, what you'd expect from a tackle box. It would do a job. Um, I probably won't give this one away. I know somebody who would actually probably quite like this. So yeah, I'll probably give that to somebody that I know. But like I say, guys, if you are interested, I'll get everything out now so you can see it. Cat's back. Do you want them? Are you after them? No? Okay, she doesn't need that to catch fish. She could just easily catch fish. She usually catches mice and stuff. But anyway, let's go through everything that I've got in my 100 pound box from Total Fishing Tackle. What will I catch? Here's what I caught. So here we go then guys, here is my 100 pound uh, box and here is everything I got. Like I say, I got the thermal socks, the two packs of hooks, uh, we got the tungsten, um, we got these um, indicator, like uh, buzz uh, bobbins, you know what I mean, with the arms. Um, we got three of them. We got the new impact spot, uh, a Colt, bag for your glug, uh, another Colt um, net float, we got a cargo net, we got the Ridge Monkey line, we got the tackle box um, from Whitewood, and of course we've got the quarter compact cool extra large pack. Look at that, that's not bad for £100 and most of that I'm going to use. What do you think? And there we are guys, I'm sorry this was a super short video, it's just something completely different as the weather's so bad right now I'm not being able to get out on the bank. So yeah, I thought I'd try something different. Big thank you to Stu for letting me copy his idea. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and there will be some more fishing content coming your way very, very soon. See ya.